All right, but it's going to be Peach versus Mega Man. Now, Mega Man was a character that, uh, from what I heard, when the game first came out, people really slept on him. Mainly because he didn't function like Smash 4 Mega Man, but a lot of the Mega Man truists, and there are a lot of them, a lot of the people who played Mega Man really loved the character, and they've been sticking through with him, you know, notably, in, at least in New York, King Arc Metal, uh, and they're discovering new things the character can do. He might not be top tier, like I'd be surprised to see the, uh, the little robot get second at Evo again, but definitely... Is something that he, he's a character that still has potential and still you have to watch out for. Was that a snitch? Yeah, it was. Oh that was definitely a snitch. That was a gorgeous turnaround. After being stuck in the up. corner, stuck on the ledge for that long, he manages to get the turnaround and take that stock. He's now up a, a life here against Frozen. Already got one upset by taking out uh, Vent uh, John Numbers. Could he get another one under his belt? Hashtag not just a TO. If in huh? fact, hashtag not just a TO. If in fact he is a TO. Mm. Frozen right out. Really looking for these forward airs. There possibly, but I love the way that Navicons are just playing around that. And that's down, but he's still getting the damage put on him. Is he surviving that? Yes, Mega Man is pretty heavy. Oh, oh, and the double snipe. I think he might have been able, if he had his jump, he might have been able to make it back from that. The fact that Mega Man can now air dodge after his up B, directionally air dodge actually, really helps the character out in terms of recovering. Just that extra boost, extra option. I love that down smash. Really nice spot dodge. Okay, frozen. Oh, here's the thing about Peach. You know, Frozen doesn't actually play a very combo-oriented Peach. There are some Peaches out there, you know, Sansora, uh, where they will, you know, they'll do those down tilt combos, all this crazy stuff, nutty things. But instead, it's almost like his Corrin, where he's more focused about spacing out moves and being effective at it. This is like the most Corrin esque Peach I've ever seen. Don't forget, though, float. I believe you cannot air dodge and float in this game as well. So by floating at that height, I guess he didn't expect uh, Maverick Hunter to be able to reach him up there. But the back air was not the stock, and now we have an even game. Very even, actually, especially considering these characters' respective damage output. You know, Frozen is actually a player who doesn't like to mess around with letting his opponents live for too long. He will just, you know, like, for instance, Peach Fair, he's been using a lot to smash attacks, even. Just wants to be taking the stocks out early. Definitely was used to that in back in Smash 4, maybe a character like Korin who had a very consistent kill potential. Not quite as much in this game. That's why the reasons he's not really playing the character. Maverick doing such a good job keeping him off the ledge. Fantastic stuff from him so far. 134%. Sorry, 130% now percent onto Frozen. Oh, he doesn't have a jump, and that's it. He has to go down there. Not going to go for the uh, the slow float. Going to drop the parasol. Although I always love the slow float when a Peach loses the game. And they're just like, you know, because they got gimped. And they're just like floating down. And they like want the opponent to take another five seconds. The watching yourself die in slow-mo is never, never a good feeling either. Maverick Hunter looking like he's pretty pleased with himself. Definitely should be already taking game one off of Frozen, but uh, don't get too confident. Let's not forget the caliber of player that Frozen is. Getting comfortable, assuming you have a read on him, is going to backfire. You have to stay on your game. You have to continue to be aware and outplay him at every turn if you want to beat him. Move on in bracket. See, moving on in bracket would be pretty good for him. Yeah, if he manages to beat Frozen, he'd actually face off against Jen, guaranteeing himself a spot in top 16. I wonder if he can make all of New York feel bad.
Goes now taking his time to choose a counter pick. It's going to be uh, Kalos Pokemon. Is that Kalos? That's Unova, right? Yeah, that's Unova. Kalos is the top right. Man, it's so weird having three Pokemon stadia, Pokemon stages. Three Pokemon stages and no Kirby stages. We just changed the entire average music <laughs> of like. Uh, hey, look, I, I'm not gonna say I'm fine with that, but I am glad to have more Pokemon music oh, back yeah. in my game. Yeah. Yo, did he hit us with that music track, Team Plasma Battle? Maybe. I didn't notice. exactly the advantages of this stage. I know that at the very least, uh, for Mega Man, he now has uh, the, flat, the, sorry, the sides to wall jump on. I don't think that will make too much of a difference. Peach is, Peach is recovering low. Most likely he's not going to want to be messing with him. I actually just realized how low Mega Man profiles when he does his dash back and forth. Like, that is actually a significant amount of hurt box sifting. I mean, maybe not like Inkling or Marth levels, but like, still... Brings his head down and becomes a very small target. Oh! Yeah, he noticed that. I believe that was the jump gone from Peach. Wanted to take advantage of it as hard as he could, but now that Frozen has gotten some stage control, he's managed to get some tempo. These two are so even in each other's faces, trying to get that big hit started. For Mega Man, he's really gonna... It's interesting, because Mega Man, on the one hand, doesn't have as many kill moves, but that also means he's gonna be more comfortable just going for small hits and then taking advantage of stage position. Whereas Frozen is more about, like, let me hit you with the big old booty bump. Looking out okay for him at the moment. Oh, that back air is so scary. From both of these players, actually, back air is gonna be a very threatening option. Forward air is now actually somewhat a kill move. Not able to kill just quite yet. Oh, and he actually manages to get the down air that time. For the overest of overkills. And without any rage, that means that he's surviving that up air and gets some extra chance at taking it. No, no extra credit earned. Fresh start for both of these guys. Okay, that's the damage output. One of the things Peach is really known for, it, and even in the early stages of this game, her, oh, she can just do damage for it. Like that 40% combo, pretty simple. It's just straightforward, normal Peach things. Oh, we got Shaman joining us in the background. One thing that, uh... <laughs> oh, what? What happened? Oh no, that's such a pivotal SD. I don't even, I guess he wanted to use the stage to his advantage and like right up the wall, but maybe he didn't contact and he wasn't able to do it. I'm not exactly sure what happened. But regardless, that's such a momentum killer. Especially when this game was so even, every hit was mattering. And the fact that an entire stock disappeared just like that, the mental damage at the very least has very clearly taken its toll. Oh, but getting stuck by that sticky bomb eventually lets uh, Maverick Hunter gain a little bit of stage, but I can tell he's not playing with the same pizzazz as he was before. Frozen has been racking up damage and damage and damage. Oh, I stand corrected. Pizzazz in spades. Getting that parry into the up tilt means that he's still in this game. It's not undoable for him. Unfortunately, the options that... Uh, can come out from Peach. Namely that forward air, the back air, depending on stage positioning. Frozen is going for them over and over again. And that's why, like, yes, he's... Oh, Saturn! Bye, Saturn. That's it. Yeah, it's... Even if you dodge a thousand forward airs, two of them will end your stuff. One, one apiece. Tension is definitely mounting between these two. See Maverick Hunter 
with less of a grin on his face as before, knowing that he cost himself that victory. That SD was just all oh, so painful. Let's go. Picking the good music. Is this Zinnia theme? What's her name? I don't know Pokemon music unless it's Gen 1. Do, 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 do. That's my jam right there. Did you know that like seven other Pokemon levels are just a variation of the Pokemon Center theme? All right, getting back to this match, we once again have a very early start. Wow. Okay, so for. A lot of that game, too, uh, Mega Man Neutral Air, those pellets were doing a good job of contesting or just straight up beating out Peach Forward Air. But as we saw right there, it's not necessarily guaranteed. If the Forward Air comes out early enough, it'll just, I guess, extend the, earth, the hitbox, actually. I love that recovery going high, really faking out the Peach, especially because Peach is really good at, with the float canceling, she can go down very quickly, but going up very quickly can kind of be difficult for her. He still has his, oh no way, he's making it back from there. Unfortunate from Maverick Hunter, and now it, it feels like the damage from that game to SD is just continuing. Not to say that he's playing badly. Actually, no, I'd say instead of the damage to Maverick, it's really that it managed to bleed some life back into Frozen. Look at the way he's playing. Putting on more aggression, being in his face. Yeah, Frozen has actually been turning up. The slightest hesitance from Maverick Hunter. It's being exploited so beautifully by Frozen, and now he's the one Managing to put on pressure, managing to throw out hitboxes. Look at that. Oh, and he gets him off stage with another back end. This just flurry of blows continues to do damage. Maverick Hunter is almost lapped in percent. He's at 103 right now. And that forward from Peach almost doing it outright. And if you're Maverick Hunter, if you lose this stock. Oh, man. He has such a mountain to climb. This is going to be very difficult for him. We'll see how it... Turns out, though, that last game we saw that parry into up tilt took out a very early stock from Peach. A few more of those kind of plays, he could at least bring this back to fighting territory, but he's getting hungry, going off stage, trying to contest Peach up B. Oh, uh, all right, works out for you. Yeah, it's, it's such a hard, when you're down by this much, it's so hard to know what the right, like, next step in the plan is. Like, do you want to go in, do you want to turn on pressure and just get something started? Because you need something when you're down by this much. Or is it the opposite? Do you play more passive, play more patient, just take up damage and focus on not getting hit? There's 3 minutes and 50 seconds on the clock. This is not going to go to timeout. Going low like that, but... The thing is that going low ended up costing him stage control. That might have cost him the game as well. Oh, the invincibility for Air Dodge is going to keep him alive. I'm going to call that a very complex bait. Air Dodge off stage to lull your opponent into a false sense of security. Frozen knowing this, the really threatening options since that down air. That's why he's stalling, trying to recover extra low. Especially because, you know, think of the dynamic where Maverick Hunter was covering low a bunch before and it did not work out for him. He ended up taking a bunch of damage because he forfeited that stage control. And Frozen is just picking his options for recovering so well and he takes the... He ends up managing to pull that back. Game one was... I would actually call... I mean, it wasn't that dominant, but it just felt dominant for Maverick Hunter. And by the end of that... Frozen was just weeding him so fantastically from the advantage, from the disadvantage. And uh, that's going to be Frozen moving on in winners, where he next gets the face off against, I believe, against Jan.